Hey guys! So recently I had a procedure done on my leg to help reduce some of the venous malformations that are inside of it. This is me right before I went into surgery. And this is what my leg looked like before the tumors were shrunk or the venous malformations. And this vlog is going to be me taking off the bandages. So I'm about to take off um, the just the ace bandage part. It's not going to be too gross, I promise. It was really like less of a surgery and more of a procedure um, because there was, if any incisions are like just very tiny. So they started, I believe this thing was the entryway for the venogram. To my best knowledge, um, so to be honest, they didn't tell me too much, and hopefully I can get the images from that, if there are any recorded. I think this must be iodine or something, I don't know. Um, but so the venogram, basically they, you know, looked inside of me to see the path of all of the veins, regular and irregular, to see like, oh, well that's where all the weird stuff is. And from there, they put the embolization foam. So there's all different kind of solutions that you could potentially stick into a VM, um, you know, venous malformation. This procedure is used for other things too. Um, this one was a foam. I took it the um, composition of it. I'll have to look it up. He told me. I can't remember. It's also not on the paperwork, so I'll have to ask when they call. I'm curious. Um, but yeah, so I guess let's try and take this muscle off. Alright, so I am taking off the bandage, and after they inject the foam, they close off each malformation with, oh shoot, it starts with the C. When I remember it, I'll tell you, but they close it off so that the foam cannot go anywhere like the skin. Alright, so they block them off with collagen. So that um, the solution can shrink each little malformation like it were a grape into a raisin. Now they can go back, and they weren't able to get all of them, although uh, more than they expected. And there's a limit on how much of the foam they can use, depending on your weight. So, for example, I think I wear something around like 46, 47 kilos. So, they said that from that, they could use 23 cc's of the foam. And here we go. Oh. So this is interesting. Um, and it's not like an immediate raisin making of the tumors, you know, this is not an instant um, de-swelling. It'll happen over, like completely over a couple months. So I'm going to be going to a pain clinic. They can, you know, we'll see what my quality of life is going to be like after this and um, they'll help me with PT because I'm having some, you know, back and hip problems from how I've had to adjust my way of walking, you know, since I was a kid. Oh, well, you're going to be a jerk, huh? Those pen marks are just marking off the areas um, where the malformations were. Or, so it's still there. Um, it looks like they kind of went side by side and they got three of them. Um, I definitely had like another one like over in here, so it was like they weren't able to get that. What was interesting is, if you see I have like some like, maybe it's a little bit hard to see, but some mild bruising up in here, and that was there before. In this image, the leg on the left is actually my right leg, and if you'll notice on the upper left area, you'll see that white blob. That's the bruised area that I was referring to, which is what I thought was a 
Venus malformation. Um, I'm pretty sure it still is, but maybe um, what I think is hip and what the doctor thought is hip are two different things. So maybe it is still indeed a malformation. As in, we were using the same term to describe two different things. So the bruising was there before, but he said that he didn't see anything in the venogram, which is weird because I have like specific pain there, but maybe just more related to the nerve. And I'm just getting bruises. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but yeah, I guess we'll just see what happens as time passes and hopefully this helps me out. Thanks for watching and learning with me. I'll keep you updated. Bye. Next time, I'll give more details about what the condition is and an update about how I'm doing. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.